the moon. Take a walk on a star. Happiness can be found. Standing right where you are. Make yourself a new song. Sing it in your own style. Make you happy and gay. Make it ring with a smile. Big Macs and a chocolate shake. Would you like some french fries with your order, sir? That be three filet, two cheeseburgers, and four Cokes? Good morning, sir. May I take your order, please? No, we don't. How about a chocolate shake? That'll be fine. A Coke? Yes, sir. Here you are, sir. And come back soon. May I help you, please? Thanks, Bill. Okay. Thank you. Well, pretty busy. But everything's under control. Good morning, okay. sir. May I help you? And yet, it wasn't always this way, was it? I mean, as far as you were concerned, remember how it used to be not too long ago? What do you have? Two hamburgers. That'll be 95. Is that all? What did you say? I said four hamburgers. Well, is that all? Yeah. Can I have a cheeseburger? Is that all? Hey, how long do I have to wait here? I said, can I have Cheeseburger. What do you have? I never ordered Cokes. I wanted milkshakes. For crying out loud, will you hurry up? Where did that kid go? How about some french fries? If I wanted fries, I would have asked for them. Just give me what I ordered, huh? Come on, Bill. A little hustle, huh? Yeah, sure. What does he expect from me, anyway? 79 cents. Is that all? Bill, give me two Cokes. Why don't you get them yourself? Yes, the old job wasn't much fun, was it? You used to ask yourselves, how come I always get the old grouches? You, you're not the only one. Well, let's see. Hamburger, french fries, apple pie, coffee. Wise guys. That's all we get in here, are wise guys. Why is everyone in such a hurry? May I help you? Why can't they make up their minds? Well, what will you have? Oh, what am I, a mind reader? Uh, from now on, I just don't care. Yep, nothing seemed to go right. Hurry, hurry, hurry. What could you do but, like you said, adopt a don't-care attitude? Why try to be pleasant when all you get is a grunt? You know, some of these customers are so dumb. This guy comes into me and he says he wants a set of spark plugs. So I say, six cylinder or eight cylinder? He says, what's a cylinder? <laughs> I need a distributor for my car. What kind? I'm not sure. I never got one before. What are you driving? 68 Camaro. Well, they're all different. Well, why don't you make up your mind? Why don't you look it up in the catalog? Give me a call. I'll be working out here and back. Uh, from now on, I just don't care. That's when it began to happen. Boy, were you mad. First time you ever gave much thought to things like that. Kevin, do you like this one? It seems like a nice radio. It has earphones. Huh? Think that would be nice? Oh, excuse me. Could you right now? Oh, I'm looking for a radio for my boy's room. And, well, you advertised one last night, but well, I... That ought to be right there. Oh. Which one is it? 
should have a sale tag on it. <laughs> well, I don't see any. Mm. Then we're all out. <sighs> we'll have to wait for that. <sighs> what a way to treat a customer. Jan, could you get me two shakes? I'm busy. Get it yourself. You say a 68 Camaro. Two barrel? Two barrel, 68 Camaro. Okay, let's see. Yep, there we are. Coming right up. There, that should do the job. Yeah. Now, if you need anything else, be sure and call on us. Matter of fact, we've got a spark plug sale going right now that you really ought to take advantage of. Second. Glad you came in. Hope to see you again real soon. You bet. Sorry you had to wait. Really busy today. Now what would you like to see? My son would like a radio for his room. I wonder if you have one like the model Enright's advertised last night. Well now let me see. I know the one you mean. We did have it, but I'm afraid we're all sold out. You know, I think I saw one in the back. While I'm checking, here's a new one that just came in. Why don't you have a look? Thank you. What do you want? But then, you went right back to the old grind. The grouches, the smart Alex, the mind changers, the hurry hurry guys, the gee I can't decide gals. Burgers, please. No, make that two double hamburgers. No, maybe you'd better make that a Big Mac. The kids who spill their cokes and lose their money. I want a Big Mac and I want two cheeseburgers and I want them in a hurry, okay? What's the matter with you? You still got the fries and I haven't got much time. Down three burgers. Hey, come on, I've only got a half hour for lunch. Janet, get me a chocolate shake. Get it yourself. <sighs> Could you please hurry up? I don't have all day. Wow, it's been a rough day so far. Great, it's almost time for a break. I know exactly how you feel. But what could you do with that don't care attitude? That was pretty rough today. Think it'll be the same tomorrow? I suppose. Doesn't have to, you know. Well, what do you mean? I should do plenty of complaining. I guess everybody does till they get things figured out. Figured out? What things? Things like, what's the answer? What's the secret? What's the difference between doing your job well and enjoying it, and not doing it well and not enjoying it? What is the secret? Let's put it this way. What kind of people do you like to do business with? I mean, when you're the customer. A girl who helps you find the radio you're looking for and can't find, and enjoys doing it. A guy who helps you pick out the right distributor for your old car, and enjoys doing it. I see you've both been doing a little thinking. But why do they enjoy it? Their work is no snap either. What's the secret? Well, simple as it may sound, the secret is courtesy. Courtesy? Courtesy. Ah, oh, come on. You were expecting another Einstein theory? Uh-uh. Courtesy. And the big thing about courtesy is it's more contagious than the flu. So I smile. That it? You're getting there. So I smile. How is that going to make my job any easier? I said courtesy was contagious. I didn't mean it. just the other guy catches it. You catch it, too, from yourself. I don't get it. Look, a lot of guys think you got to act the way you feel. You feel lousy, so look lousy. That makes everybody feel lousy. Big deal. You don't feel like smiling, so don't smile. And nobody smiles. I'll tell you something. The smart guys discovered it works just the other way around. Start showing someone else a little consideration, and right away you'll feel better and feel like doing a better job. You know, I really believe that. This girl who waited on me and, and sold me a radio for my son's room, she enjoyed her job. It was obvious. Sure she enjoyed it. So what's your job? Serving people, right? Mm -hmm. You do it well and have a great feeling of satisfaction. And don't think there's anything wrong with serving people. Big question is, how do you do it? Do it well, and you'll feel like you're somebody. I mean, do it with courtesy. That's the big part of it. Gotta get going. Want to give it a try? You bet we do. Okay, but be careful. Careful? Why? It's contagious. 
Hi there, man. Give me two hamburgers and I'm in a hurry. Make you happy and gay. Make it ring with a smile. Good afternoon, sir. But then you caught it. And you found your job is a pretty important one, isn't it? A lot of people to handle and keep happy. Which keeps you happy. And courtesy is what makes it all run smoothly. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. May I have butter? Courtesy that begins working for you the minute you greet the customer. You've got the idea. Smile all the time. Whenever there are customers around. And even when they're not. Smiles are contagious, too. After a while, you find that it's easier to smile than not to smile. Hi, may I help you, please? Good afternoon, Mrs. Wright. And how do those greetings go again? Good morning. How are you today? Good morning. Oh, fine, thank you. Hi, Jack. May I take your order, please? Hello there. Good to see you again. And what would you like today? I'll have a Big Mac. Hi, Mr. Adams. Good to see you again. And what can I get for you today? French fries? That's it. Always looking right at the customer. All right. Coming right up, sir. Hi, may I help you, please? Yes, I'll have one cheeseburger and fries. One cheeseburger and fries. Okay, would you like a Coke with your order? No, thank you. I'm all set. All right. I'll have two Big Macs and two chocolate shakes. Would you like some hot french fries today, sir? Mm, yeah. Two fries, please. Thanks for reminding me about those fries. Yeah, we had some... And done with a smile. It has to be natural, though. So does the smile. And you've discovered that at no time is the courteous, attentive approach more important than during a rush period when it's so easy to give the impression that you're hurrying the customer through. That'll be a dollar twenty-six, please. All righty. Have a nice day. Here you go. Out of two dollars and ten. Fifty, seventy-five, two dollars. Thank you very much. Come back again. Thank you. The impression you want to give is that you're hurrying to serve the customer, not to get rid of him. And the best way to do that is to keep your eyes right on him as you ask him to return. May I help you? Yep, you're busy, but everything's under control. The job's fun now, isn't it? You've discovered how good you feel when you make others feel good. It's 150, 175, and two dollars. Thank you very much. How important much. you feel when you make others feel important. Courtesy. That's the big thing. And the best thing about it, it's contagious. Make yourself a new song. Sing it in your own style. Make you happy and gay.